Presenting before you the Thursday Wednesday hebdomadal headlines from Enviro Annotations Weekly Newspaper published on 22nd June 2020. Indian Minister of State for Environment, Forest and Climate Change Ashwini Kumar Chaube during the inspection of Bengal Safari North Bengal Wild Animals Park on Wednesday adopted a one-year-old tiger for one year. The tiger is named Agnivir. In an effort to develop a viable solar solution to power Indian kitchens, Indian Oil and the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas have developed an indigenous solar cooktop Surya Nutan. It's a stationary, rechargeable and always kitchen-connected indoor solar cooking. It offers online cooking mode while charging through the sun which maximizes the system efficiency and ensures high utilization of energy from the sun. It works on a hybrid mode, that is, it can work on both solar and auxiliary energy source simultaneously, which makes the Surya Nutan a reliable cooking solution for all weather conditions. In the matter of Silasing versus Central Pollution Control Board and others, Original application number 214 of 2021, representatives of Central Pollution Control Board and Delhi Pollution Control Committee inspected the slaughterhouse again on 10th June 2022 and submitted a report to the principal bench of the National Green Tribunal. As per the report, the unit has a conventional effluent treatment plant consisting of primary, secondary and tertiary treatment units. No effluent was coming to the ETP during inspection as the plant was closed by the DPCC in compliance with the NGT order. However, the MLSS level in two aeration tanks was observed to be adequate. Nevertheless, the report also includes a laboratory test report issued by the Telepollution Control Committee's water laboratory. Surprisingly, with the conventional ETP, the biochemical oxygen demand or BOD was reportedly reduced by about 97 percent and chemical oxygen demand or COD by about 95 percent while the total suspended solids have gone down by more than 98 percent. The DPCC water laboratory report is seriously doubtful, seems utterly influenced and needs a review. Editorial Climate, Water and Amrit Sarovar's deliberates on heat waves in India news and its shifting towards Europe. At this pressing time, when many countries of the world, including India, are facing acute water crisis, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's call for construction of 75 Amrit Sarovar's in each district of the country would prove remarkable. The total number of ponds shall be about 50,000. The government has set an objective of each Amrit Sarovar with a Pondes area of minimum one acre and with, an, with a water holding capacity of about 10,000 cubic meters. The program also involves commemorative plantation of trees. The Forest Advisory Committee in its 13th June 2022 meeting recommended proposals of southeastern coal fields shall open cast coal mining project and construction of standalone pumped storage component of Sondati Integrated Renewable Energy Project by Green Coast Solar Energy Private Limited in Bilagavi district of Karnataka. The committee finds ambiguity in the proposal of Mahanadi Coal Fields Limited for non-forestry use of 41.073 hectare and Rediversion of 171.774 hectare forest land in respect of integrated Lakhanpur Belpahar Lilari open cast project of Lakhanpur area in district Jharsuguda, Odisha. The committee rejected Northern Coal Field Limited proposal pertaining to the diversion of forest land in Singroli Forest Division of Madhya Pradesh, which involves about 2,10,164 tree felling. Three projects were deferred by the committee.
There is an industry Q&A pertaining to boiler emissions, standalone sewage treatment plants and battery wastes. So Rostro Cement, JK Cement, Nirma non-coal mining project proposals get ESC's note. The ESC observes NABT accredited EIA consultant Kalyani Laboratories performance unsatisfactory and defers two projects of the consultant. EAC Infra 2 Projects Subcommittee finds Panchkula Integrated Municipal Solid Waste Management Facility Site Unsuitable. Ramke's Baloda Bajar proposal gets stuck as the EIA consultant was suspended by NABT. EAC nods Himachal and Odisha projects. Thursday, Wednesday, Hebdomadal AQI report amidst reduced number of data, good AQI city count jumps. AQI value heavily slighted down in all the four metropolitan cities. The seven-day average AQA was calculated to be 113 in Delhi, followed by 57 in Chennai, 53 in Mumbai, and 49 in Kolkata, which is the lowest. Delhi government working to harness rainwater with about 2,500 structures. Israel and Haryana government sign joint declaration for cooperation in integrated water sources management. Center for Policy Research report realizing India's emissions intensity plays, data needs and short-term actions talks about close linkages between Panchamrit places as well as aligning low carbon development centered action in sectors that are not explicitly covered under Panchamrit announcement with this place. India's drought management efforts lauded. UNCCD Secretary General Ibrahim Theo designated Acting Executive Secretary of UNFCCC. Municipal Corporation Manager bans 19 types of single use plastic items. To know more, do subscribe to Enviro Annotations. It's published every Wednesday. Thank you for watching this video. Please do share your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues who can use this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it now. Nevertheless, you can also share your articles for publication in the newspaper as well as on the website and your videos for this YouTube channel.